That story we are all talking about uh, here at JMA this morning, that growing outrage in the wake of the United Airlines flight. A family says a flight attendant ordered them to put their dog in the overhead luggage bin. When they landed, they found that tragic outcome. ABC's Lindsay Davis is here with more. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Cecilia. The daughter and mom say that they told the flight attendant twice that they had a dog inside the bag before they were told to put it in the overhead compartment. And they say that they could hear the dog barking, but because of heavy turbulence, no one checked on the dog until the end of the flight. The Castano family loved their puppy Coquito. A 10-month-old French bulldog, Catalina, and her two young children took Coquito on a family trip to Houston to visit her husband who's working there. He was a member of our family. He was like my brother to me. The trip ended Monday in a nightmare. The dog died in his soft kennel bag after the family and other passengers on the plane said the flight attendant demanded the puppy's carry-on case be removed from under the seat in front of him into the overhead bin. We were going to put him under the seat, and then the flight attendants came. She said, but you have to put him up there because it's going to block the path. And we're like, it's a dog, it's a dog. And she's like, it doesn't matter. You still have to put it up there. And she just, put, she helped her put it up, and she just closed it like it was a baggage. The dog reportedly barked softly during the first part of the flight. Then it stopped. When the plane landed at LaGuardia after three hours, the Castanos discovered Coquito's body and attempted to perform mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. She took him out and opened the thing, and then she got the dog, and he was dead. United's own policy and that of every other major airline states that animals should be put in kennel bags under the seat in front of them. The airline expressed condolences, saying in a statement that this never should have occurred. Pets should never be placed in the overhead bin. We assume full responsibility. It's certainly not safe for a dog to be in a bin. There's not much air and uh, it's, it's the uh, dog had no water. It's a terrible situation. It's not something that should have occurred under any circumstances. In all my years of flying, I have never heard of a flight attendant asking or forcing somebody to put an animal in the overhead bin. But overnight, fellow passenger Maggie Greminger told ABC News that the flight attendant seemed shocked and frazzled once the flight landed. And she said she did not know there was a dog in the bag. United is still investigating the incident. When it comes to pets small enough to take into the cabin, small dogs, cats, and rabbits, United is very specific about the measurements for hard cases. But for those with soft sides, like the one in this case, United says on their website that those may slightly exceed the regular limits because they're collapsible. But, Cecily, as we were talking about, it sounds like it may have been a language barrier here. It was still investigated uh, just what happened. Okay, so many questions, Lindsay. Thank you. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams, here. Uh, one of the first questions I think people will have is, what is a family to do in a situation? situation like this. Are, are they responsible in any way? Well, look, let's be clear. The dog should not have been in the overhead bin, period. Two questions here. There's sort of a moral ethical one and there's a legal one. On a moral ethical level, meaning people are going to judge this family, uh, should they have gotten off the plane, etc. Uh, those are fair questions to ask, but as a legal matter, if a flight attendant instructs you to do something, you're supposed to do it. Meaning we can't say on the one hand, when flight attendants tell you to do something, you need to do it. And then on the other hand, say, well, you know what? If you think it's a really bad idea, you shouldn't do it. Um, so as a legal matter, uh, United has a problem here if she did instruct them knowing that there was a dog in the bag. So there's still some questions uh, to be answered here. Let's talk about that flight attendant. What happens to her potentially? I would assume if she instructed a family to put their dog in an overhead bin, that she's going to be fired. I mean, United has even made it clear this is unacceptable. There is a company accepting full responsibility mm -hmm. for what happened. But it sounds like there's some ambiguity here about exactly what did happen because the flight attendant seeming shocked at the end of the flight that there was a dog in there does lead you to wonder, did she actually know? Or not. United has a really clear policy. Animals don't belong in the overhead. Are yeah. they facing any potential legal? Yeah, the standard's going to be this? negligence, right? It's it's the same standard we see in every other case, which is uh, did they fail to show a proper duty of care uh, to these people? And then the other interesting question is if there is negligence, what are the damages? And damages become a very interesting, controversial issue when it comes to a pet because it used to be that you just got the value of the pet, meaning a piece of property. It's slowly been moving more to recognize the importance of pets to people, but 
it's hard and to how get they, damages. How do they assess that, though? Well, you know, it, it goes case to case, but it is very hard to get more than the cost of replacing the animal, mm -hmm. the cost of the animal. But in a high profile case like this, what we've seen in the past is the airlines are typically willing to settle for a little more to make it go away. Mm -hmm. But as we saw, they said the, the animals are part of the family. So yeah, you, no question. you can give them as much money as you want, it doesn't replace Yep, and all I'm talking about is the legal standard, not uh, the practical issues. All right, Dan. Thank you so yep. much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.